Jacksonville leaders want to spend millions of dollars to increase security at our local schools. It's all part of an effort to keep your kids safer at school. And the new superintendent admitted to Action News that he has a public perception problem to fix after several high-profile bullying cases gained national attention. Fox 30 Action News' Catherine Varnum is live on the Action Cam on the south side tonight. Catherine, the superintendent says parents will see an immediate difference. That's right, Mark. They're going to see more officers inside, inside schools like this one. It's all because of a 700% increase in funding over last year. This video put Duval County schools in the national spotlight. A student beaten by an alleged bully. While it didn't happen on school grounds, the superintendent wants to make sure parents feel safe sending their kids to school. I think our schools are much safer than the community believes. But Dr. Nikolai Vitti says there's another problem he keeps hearing about. We do have, a, I think, a perception issue. That's why he's putting big bucks behind the promise to fix the district's image. I found out in the new tentative budget for the school district, there will be $24 million for security, compared to just $3 million last year. Dr. Vitti says kids and parents will see the difference. We did add um, some SROs, which are officers in some of our K-8s and high schools. Uh, we also put a dean of discipline in every middle school and high school. Vitti says the money should be a big help to calm parents' fears about crime in Duval County schools. He doesn't want parents to worry a fight like this might happen in their kids' classroom. Our number one responsibility is to make sure children are safe when they're with us. And Vitti's budget was tentatively approved by the school board tonight. A final approval vote will take place in September. We're live on the South Side. I'm Catherine Varnum, Fox 30 Action News. Leaders also hope to include magnet school transportation in the new budget and want to bring back art and music programs. Florida